That was real organic right there. Yeah. That was some real organic recipeing. Okay. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? I'm Lauren, I'm hot for food. Of course, you already know that. And today, we're doing a recipe. I love saying that. This is the segment where I just turn the camera on. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna come up with an idea on the spot. Hopefully, it's gonna turn into something delicious and edible and tasty and photographable. Uh, and so I rummage through my kitchen, my pantry, my fridge, use whatever I got, make it up as we go. There is no recipe, that's why it's called recipe. So we uh, first should probably go through the fridge. Not sure I have a whole lot going on. Uh, so we may have to resort to some dry pantry staples for this one. <laughs> Let's see what we have in the way of produce and whatnot. Now this, you're probably wondering what's in here. This is about two cups of cooked macaroni. It's edible. You could do something with that. We have, oh, I can't use this actually. So I'm going to a cottage and everyone was like, bring some nacho cheese. We have some miso tahini dressing. Not bad, that one's from the cookbook or from the blog and I think it's in my ebook. I don't even remember where I put that recipe. <laughs> broccoli, okay, we have broccoli. It's nice. We have pickles, I don't know. I always have pickles. Lots of carrots, cheese shreds, those are handy. If we need it, we've got some tofu, so that's always good, you know how much we like that. This green pepper is, definitely needs to be used. Nothing else really interesting in here, apart from the usual, here's some, some dill. Kimchi, now, okay, let's look, we've got noodles. Kimchi is always a fun thing to like, Surprise, there's kimchi in this thing. <laughs> well, here's what I'm liking so far. I don't think cheese and kimchi go together, but who knows. We should probably use these noodles for something because they're there. Like they're just asking to be eaten. The broccoli for sure, because this I bought and I forgot about it. You know how that goes. So broccoli, nothing is coming to me. <laughs> nothing is happening. This is what we do. I think it's like when you take the like stuff that needs to get used. The miso tahini sauce needs to get used. Maybe we blend it with kimchi to make a spicy sauce. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. What do we do with the broccoli? It's too easy. Here's the thing. We can't just go basic. It's obviously we could make a spicy kimchi mac and cheese style pasta and put broccoli in it. But that's too basic for the hot for food kitchen. That's what I would make if I was just like hungry right now and want to eat but we need to elevate, elevate this whole thing. I also just saw some snacks, because I was kind of hungry. And I was like, maybe we can use these cheesy snacks to add some cheesiness to our, I guess, are we doing a mac and cheese? But how are we gonna make this mac and cheese like next level? That's, that's all I'm trying to figure out is that what are we, what's our next level mac and cheese? And then we've got these vegan, basically they're cheesy Doritos, but they're not Doritos. You've seen these on my What I Ate in a Day. These K-Pasa, they, they are like Doritos. Okay, could we do, oh God, it's coming to me, it's coming to me, it's coming to me. Like a tempura fried broccoli, but with like a cheesy crusty batter. And then that goes on top of like the mac and cheese is like, I don't know, something. And then like that gets all baked with more cheese on top. Like we could make, broccoli, not wings, but the way I do the cauliflower. I don't know, something along these lines. Let's start with the broccoli, cause that's gonna take the longest. The noodles essentially just need to be heated up and stirred into some kind of sauce. Um, I have some brown rice flour, so we can use that for the initial dredge of the broccoli. That'll be similar to the cauliflower wings. And then we'll just, instead of panko, we'll do, we're gonna grind these up in a food processor. So we're just gonna uh, grind up these chips. They should be pretty fine, like a breadcrumb, right? It weirdly needs more salt. I'm gonna add chili powder. I think once you grind them up, you know, you're not eating a whole chip, you're eating little bits. You just wanna make sure these things are really flavorful and salty enough. All right, so, I mean, it's no different than cauliflower. You just want florets of broccoli. And actually this is even easier because look, they just break right off in great little sizes. And now uh, for the sake of convenience, I'm going to eyeball the dredge. So we're gonna do brown rice flour in there. 
I'm gonna season that with garlic and onion the way I normally do. Maybe just a pinch of salt in this part and pepper. And then we'll add some almond milk, I guess. You know, you could do water or both, whatever. Okay, friends, now let's just do this. You know how to do this already. Should work. Tap, you gotta do your tap, you tap, 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 tap. Now chips. Ooh, yeah, this is gonna look so cool. Okay, these broccoli nuggets look amazing. Uh, they look better than the cauliflower, not gonna lie. These are gonna go in the oven now because we're all preheated. So um, I'm doing 25 minutes on the timer because that's how I do the cauliflower the first bake. These probably only need to be baked once. We're not gonna put sauce on them, I don't think. So um, let me get this sorted and we'll decide what we're gonna do with this macaroni and the sauce and whatever else we're making here. We're gonna make, I guess this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a mac and cheese, an elevated mac and cheese with the nuggets on top. It's just gonna be a full on cheese fest. Um, we're gonna need something to cut through the cheese though. I don't know what that is yet, but you're gonna think I'm so weird. This is miso tahini dressing. It's, sorry, there's no miso. It's tahini, lemon, garlic, maple syrup. I think that's it. I'm gonna use that in a blender. I'm gonna maybe blend up the cheese shreds and then when we heat it up, this will like, I'm thinking make it gooier. The only reason I'm saying to blend it is because you know my friend Timmy, Mississippi Vegan. He makes a mac and cheese with the blocks and blends the blocks and then heats up the sauce. So I'm thinking maybe you can do the same thing with the shreds. Okay, miso tahini dressing. We could put tofu to thicken it. Let's use tofu, like instead of cashews, you could obviously use cashews, but let's just use this tofu because I have it. Some chunks. I got two brands of cheese. I got the Earth Island shreds and I got the Pepper Jack Dea. I don't know which one, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just put all the cheese in here. See what happens. Now it's almost looking like a white cheese sauce. Maybe that's what it is with the orange things on the top. So let's just add some acidity. We're gonna add some apple cider vinegar, just a bit. I'm gonna go in with a bit more onion powder, salt. I'm gonna do white pepper, okay, like a pinch or two here. White pepper is more like an Asian pepper, like it's an Asian cuisine. That's all I know, I don't even really know the difference. Are we gonna use this green pepper? Like, do I stir this into the pasta or something? I don't know, let's just blend this and see what it, what happens, because I don't really know what's gonna happen. It's looking like the cashew sour cream, which is funny. It's so good. I kid you not, that tastes exactly like the cashew sour cream recipe. I don't know what to do, it needs something Maybe it just needs a hit of lemon juice. And I'm gonna just thin it out with a bit of almond milk. Although I weirdly wanna put this pickle juice in. <laughs> you know how I made that carbonara and we used, uh, what did I use? Pickle juice. What the heck did I use? Guys, I don't remember anything. Okay, we're gonna add a bit of pickle juice. That might be too much pickle juice. <laughs> the longest thinking. I'm just thinking like, that weirdly did do something to it. Okay, this is gonna, this is, this dish isn't gonna look good and that's what I'm afraid of. It's gonna look really weird. It's gonna be white noodles, all creamy saucy with these like random orange crunchy things on top. That sauce is delicious. I don't wanna do anything else. I think I like the idea of making it more of a casserole like and almost making it look like a bake. Kind of like something like, your grandma would make like kind of retro, like the way you, when you make like funny, like tuna casserole looking things, they're kind of like, ew, these are gross. But then there's like a chip topping on them. I feel like that's what I'm channeling right now with this like chip broccoli nugget. So like, I feel like kind of like the dirtier and stranger this casserole is, the better as long as it's super flavorful. So but what I want to do is saute onion in here and garlic and the green pepper. 
Then add the sauce, get it gooey, add the noodles, and then dump that into a casserole dish. Put those things on top with more cheese and bake it. I think we just nailed it. Okay, here we go. So this is great, look, I've got like a half an onion. We'll take a stalk of celery and our green pepper. We're just gonna dice everything. I just thought maybe it'd be nice to have some crunch in the pasta since this is gonna be more a casserole now. You know, it's all about texture and stuff like that. So we'll saute all of this. Let's go to the stove. I was just standing over here at my cupboard and I have some truffle oil. What if we made a white truffle mac and cheese casserole with cheesy broccoli? Like, cause truffle and broccoli, I don't know, they go really well together. They almost smell the same in my mind. I might be nuts, but I'm gonna put truffle oil at the end. Let's drop the onions and celery in here. Okay, we're also gonna add a couple garlic cloves. This is a finishing oil, you're not really supposed to cook with it. I don't know, I'm just gonna use this. You know why? Because it's flavored, it's not even real truffle oil. It's olive oil with truffle essence. Garlic. We just wanna get this flavorful, so just heated through. It's also gonna bake in with the mac and cheese. Our broccoli nuggets are about to be finished. Ooh. Okay, well. All right, I'm gonna dump the uh, sauce in there because I wanna see what happens when I heat it up and that cheese that I blended kind of melts a bit. I might need some water in there. It's very thick. I'm gonna do a bit of water. Let's add the pasta in. So what I'm noticing as I've heated that up is the cheese is sort of thickening and getting more cheesy. I can like sort of feel it and see, you can see how gooey it is and like sort of stringy it looks. That's from the cheese melting. O-M-G, screaming for pepper. Oh God, well, first of all, I can just eat this right now. Look at that, it's gooey. Oh! I don't know why, but I just want like a hit of red chili flakes. Maybe that's because I think I'm eating it like this. I am gonna add some truffle oil. It's so good. It's really dumb that we just did this. I mean that I just did this. <laughs> I like truffle, not everyone does. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, just a pinch, because these are pretty hot, they're fresh. Okay, well you could eat this on its own right now, it's ready to go. <laughs> and you would die and go to the mac and cheese heaven, but we're gonna make a casserole. So amazing, okay. I'm super into this right now. I don't know what that is. What did I just do? <laughs> what just happened? I blacked out. Now I was sort of picturing, rather than just like plopping these right on top, and I hope our broccoli isn't overcooked. It's getting overcooked, but it's okay. Let's taste these. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut these up and make like a fun design. You know, like alternating the green and the orange. I'm just cutting them in half. I don't know what this is, but I think it looks neat. Now, maybe we just take some of this pepper jack. Oh yes. And we're just gonna go under the broiler. You know, these don't really need to be cooked much more. You just wanna brown the cheese on top, I realized. So let me, we're gonna, I'm gonna put them on a tray, broil them, and then I think that's that. I gotta come up with a fun name now for them.
Once again, I have just outdone myself. <laughs> I'm super excited and kind of proud of this freaking casserole. Like, I don't know, but like, I, sometimes when I do this, I'm like, what? This needs to be published. Like, this needs to be a real thing. Except there's literally no rhyme or reason to it and no recipe to give you. Like, that sauce is like pure. It's white truffle mac. There's nothing else to call it. Oh my god. This is like... You can make this. This isn't hard. I feel like everything that I put in the blender is so easy to follow. Mmm. I don't know what to say. I'm just really into this. Cause this is like something that should be in a cookbook, really. So maybe it's gonna be in the next cookbook. <laughs> okay, I mean, I don't know what else to say. That's recipe. I don't know what I'm calling it. A white truffle mac casserole with crunchy broccoli nuggets. If you have a better name suggestion, leave it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, would you? I think that helps things if you think it's brilliant. Mmm. <laughs> Somebody, you know, I really should find out who it, who it was. Put the hashtag, what would hot for food do? I thought it was amazing. Thank you for doing that. Where'd he go? Shout out to park that car who used the hashtag, what would hot for food do? He made, um, he said, I made vegan cheese sauce out of butternut squash. Couldn't decide whether to have it with mac and cheese or nachos. So I combined the two. Hell yeah, you did. Combining nachos and mac and cheese into what one would call a nacho mac and cheese, which he's got a side of guac. So I love recipe, but you can't hashtag it because of the punctuation. So what would hot for food do? Share your photos. What would hot for food do? Well, we would make something freaking epic and tasty like this. So if you are concocting your own recipes based on inspo from these videos, this video series that I created here on hot for food, and just having fun in your own kitchen and you feel inspired and you wanna share something, send me um, on Insta stories at Hot For Food and I'll share it in my stories featuring what you recipe. And uh, I don't know, what else can we do with what would Hot For Food do? I mean, it's just, it's just crazy because I said, it can't just be like this basic thing. You have to like think outside the box to like elevate the meal to be like just next level. Gotta constantly up the ante here. If we want people to go vegan, we need to show them that it's hella fun and cool and creative and exciting to be vegan. So that's my mission. I'm sticking to it. Check out my cookbook, Vegan Comfort Classics, 101 Recipes to Feed Your Face. Drool worthy, next level recipes for vegan comfort food. Um, if you already have it, thank you. I need to eat a lot of food right now and I'd like to go. So I'll see you next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we're making mini vegan powdered donuts. What? Yeah.